Welcome back to 2DG, 2 douchey guys. Uh, we're going to go to Colorado today. We're going to go to Boulder, Colorado. Woohoo! Today we're going to be looking at the trying out, tasting. The Maharaja from Avery Brewing Company. What style? It is going to be a double IPA or an imperial IPA. Imperial Pale Ale. Alright. Bird. A lot of good things about this beer. Again, can't get it here in good old northeast Indiana. Uh, the only thing that makes this place bearable is we do get three Floyds. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm anxious to try this one. All right, so let's get to it. And there it is from Avery. Oh, this is probably going to take a minute. I should just go ahead and just pop it. Yeah. Because I kind of have to do this later. Just like that. And we did get another one of these and we're keeping that one back for a little while. Which isn't necessary considering. Mm. Well, it just depends on how we like it. If I hate this, I'm going to be angry. I can already smell yeah. some goodness. Anyway. Appearance, nice orange, golden orange color, similar to what a Bell's Two-Hearted would be for comparison purposes, at least color-wise, you can probably get that one. I'd call it on the cloudy side. Yeah, it is actually cloudy. I don't know if that's just chill haze. I don't think it is. The glass no. is really warm, so. It's got a nice head that's hanging on. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of surprising considering it is 10.2%. Definitely not a session beer. No. So let's get the nose in. I can tell I'm gonna like this. Yes. <laughs> uh, very uh, citrusy. I'm getting a lot of orange out of this one again. A lot of tangerine. Yeah. Um, getting Le lower um, grapefruit. Uh, definitely lower. Yeah. There's a good malt in there too. I was gonna say yeah, a lot of sweetness in there too. Um, yeah. So like you said, just from the nose. Probably gonna like it. I'm assuming it's gonna be similar to a West Coast quality, at least like stone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> with the again syrupiness of the uh, mouth feel. But uh, although yeah. usually, you can, uh, so usually the uh, syrupiness that I'll call in stone, you'll see it on the side of the glass. This one's not. It's not bad. I mean. But. Yeah. Smell though. Oh, I know. It's great. Right. Let's taste. Uh, again, just typical of the style, a lot of bitterness right up front. Um, really hits the front of the tongue pretty hard. Um, syrupy flavor that we said, the consistency was uh, was there. Um, it's not but stone syrup, no, though. It's good. It's, uh, it's just still though, tons of sweetness throughout, but complemented awesomely by the fruit that you get through the whole thing. Lots of stone fruit, lots of orange. Um, I'm getting citrus in there as well. Nothing too distinct on the citrus end, like um, we did with the Firestone. You got a lot of orange, like uh, just strictly orange juice out of it. But this one's more uh, what your standard citrus would be—lemon, grapefruit, things like that. But it's it's awesome. I would say it's piney too. Yeah, with like you said, excellent malt back yeah, to definitely. it though. Very well balanced. Yeah, this has got a lot going on. So I've watched a lot of different reviews on this beer, and from what I've seen, they hyped it up quite a bit. So I'm really, really happy that this one lives up to everything that I have heard and seen um, from the beer. And like you said, the distribution, at least on the bottle, it says it's a very limited beer. Um, granted, Avery's grown quite a bit over the past couple of years. This is a summer only, which is kind of weird um, that they would release a double IPA during the summer because it is a heavier uh, drink. But uh, we, like you said, you got two of them, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, that's a good beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, scores. What are you gonna give it for the style? Oh, uh, for the style. Did you uh, did you find your your unicorn? I'm gonna give it a ten. This is 
it's definitely a 10 on this session, but I mean, it's, it's a 10. It's, it's a 10. It's got to be a 10. Okay. Um, I'm also, yeah, I'm going to give it a 10 as well. So there's, there's certain things that, to me, you look for uh, in a double IPA, which is you want that sweetness to it. Uh, because, like you said, you're adding a ton of hops. This one's 102 IBUs, um, which I think past 85 or 90, you don't, I mean, you can't really notice Imperceptible. it anymore yet. Um, but it nails everything. It actually exceeded what my expectations were, I guess, mm -hmm. So, which is awesome. Uh, what are you going to give it overall? That's tough. Overall, I'm going to give it a 9.5. So I haven't found the, <laughs> so I haven't found the, uh, the one. Oh, this is really good. I'm just thinking in terms of, uh, is it something I would, you know, it's, it's a tough one to do because this isn't something you're going to drink every day. This isn't something you're going to... I would drink it every day. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a good beer, though. Definitely a good beer. Don't let that nine and a half make you think it's not because it's definitely world class. It's... I'm going to... I'm going to give it a ten. Uh, <laughs> they said the, the style for me is already my favorite and then the way they nailed it I mean, it's awesome. It helps that this bottle is super fresh. You guys got it in Colorado, correct? Yep. So you can't really do any better than that. You got it in peak season. Um, so that helps a lot uh, as well as for the flavor profile. It's almost like there's a spice in there too, though. I think it's a play on the malt and the it's hop. Probably, and the it's kindness. probably a hop thing, yeah. But... It's an interesting, very complex, interesting. Okay, what would you say your favorite style is then? If you're, yeah, yeah. As I say, you're not going to give this a 10 for overall, and it's your favorite style, and they killed it. I'm not, and the reason is because I, I tend to like a little more of that uh, grapefruity taste to it. Um, but is it Imperial IPA? Can't complain. I'll never complain about this beer. I say this one has more of the uh, the stone fruit that I was talking about, especially in the taste. Mm -hmm. Like more towards back, middle of the tongue. It's it's good, and it's not actually it's not super dry, which on the back end, which is kind of surprising. Normally, if you get a higher alcohol beer, especially an IPA like that, they tend to be super dry on the back end. I would actually say this is drier than oh any others we've done. <laughs> um, Disagree, but okay. Yeah, I would say it's drier. That's not a bad thing. It works on this so well. I say it's it's a real juicy IPA. Like yeah, that's mean, true. Yeah, very well rounded. I mean, you get. Like you say, you got all that bitterness, but man, it's just balanced so well. You say, I could drink it every day. Not much. Probably wouldn't drink <laughs> a lot of them every day. Um, yeah, you give me one of these every day, I'm happy. I could see that. <laughs> 2DG.